Today we're talking about the field and the time, but we also got to talk about the future. We're going to talk about what is being done today slow and steady in order to get information in the field. So let me give you a couple salient facts. Do you know we're building slower than we were 50 years ago? How about this fact? Construction is always thought like, oh, there must be big money in it. If you look at the top publicly traded construction companies in America, do you know what their net margins are? Oh, I heard someone say 10%. I heard someone say 5%. 1%. So imagine they're working for 1% money. This is a tough business. Now let's talk about why. We brought it up before. We said there were two perspectives to the construction business. You had the money side and you had the time side, the project management side and the field side, construction operations. People think it's completely the general contractor's responsibility as to what occurs in the field, but that's not true. An owner has a responsibility. What are some of the owner responsibilities? Well, there's one that you hear about all the time in New York City. It's called accessibility. Your ability to get onto a site. And you hear it all the time in license agreements. Do you know what a license agreement even is? You would think in New York that we're allowed to build, and we are. But your neighbors have to allow you to build. You can't just go in there and start banging away. Do your neighbors want you building next to them for the next three years? I doubt it. And they can hold you up. And then you may say, why? Why does the neighbor even matter? When you put in a building, the weight below that footing is not a linear direction. Direction. It's not parallel to the footing deep into the ground. It's actually in a teardrop shape. So what does that actually mean? You are impacting all of your neighbors when you're building. You're impacting their actual structures. They need to understand what you're going to do. In order to get work done, you need permission from your neighbors. So an owner is required to make a license agreement. And this process itself can take so long it can destroy a project. But New York has a solution. You can litigate. What a great thing. You could take everyone to court to get that approval. What's another thing that's a responsibility of the owner? How about having the money to build? They should come up with the money to make sure you have the capital to get through this project. My point being is that an owner doesn't just hand the keys to a contractor and poof, there's a building. They have a responsibility throughout the process. And in New York, there's this nuanced game of these license agreements that are a huge responsibility on the owner. If you as a general contractor are underwriting or you are bidding a project, you will make assumptions on the access. If the owner is not able to provide that access, it adds tremendous cost. So let's talk about the general construction side. So the first thing I think is so important is something called SOE. What's SOE stand for? You forget, but in order to build, you have to support that excavation. None of us can predict what's below the ground. You got to build a building. What do you have to do to control? What is your responsibility? We always talk about it's time. How do you get the supplies to the site to execute that project under a timeline. The most important document is the critical path method schedule. The schedule, right? You're making an assessment is what you believe the project and how it will go and guess what? It always changes. So you're looking at a milestone schedule. That schedule lets you know if you're on time and what's occurring. So if you're a neighbor and you want to find out what's going on at that project, ask for the schedule. What I want everyone to understand is that construction is a feedback loop. We're trying to project forward, but we can't without information that we collect daily. We then analyze that. We then look back to look forward. AI is coming for you and it's going to change the way we build buildings. They're finally going to be built faster and they're actually going to be built on time as a result. Do you believe me? Artificial intelligence may actually be a secret sauce in the construction field to change the game. What about if we can learn some of the things that are occurring right in the field from data points? that we can now bring in either robotics into the field maybe? What about if the critical path schedules impact instead of being a 30-day look back because of the variable being collected in the sensors can give you a daily requirement and a daily goal to build to maintain it. So it is going to be a fascinating and exciting time in prop tech and construction tech as a result of AI.